this week on the Vic Meyer Show. June Mountain, California, in the final week of operation. I'm ready to celebrate anything. This week on the Vic Meyer Show, I'm in location in Mexico City, and I brought this guy along. We are actually able to buy a oh, couple yeah. of cervezas. And I'm here to see the total eclipse of the sun. We may not be seeing this eclipse. But first. Oh man, Martel, making dreams come true. One, one ride at a time. We got Bert stationed over there. It's a beautiful June mountain face. Right or left? Uh, I'll take left. What's happening? All right, here we go. over here perfect day June Mountain California in the final week of operation Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Waiting for you. <laughs> Woo! This does not suck. Put the brakes on. Smell that. Oh, June Mountain, I've been waiting for you. Hopefully, you've saved a little something for me. So I'm back out here on a different mountain this time with my good friend Martel and we're at June Mountain, California for another epic, epic, another epic bluebird day. What do you need to say, Marty? Oh, it's just another great day out here. Shadows on this starts to get a little warm and slushy. You want to aim for the shadow spots. They're still a little icy. They'll keep you going. You also want to aim for the ski and board shop because the right wax also helps out quite a bit. Here at the ski shop with Andrew and he's going above and beyond the call of duty to make this old beast. Shiny uh, once more. Shiny once more and look at that crisp edge. You're doing Almost a hell of a finished. job. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. This is the final week. Uh, June Mountain will be open for the season of 23-24. I doubt I'll get a chance to get out of here for closing day, so we're just gonna call this our closing day and make the most of it because it is a beautiful bluebird day out here in the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountain range. And more importantly, and more specifically right here at June Mountain, California. One of my favorite, favorite places. And obviously, one of my happy places.
I'm gonna head back down to the main lodge right now, meet up with Martel for some lunch. So I will show you how you do that. Catch J3 to make it back to Main Lodge. <laughs> so, what happens here is we come off the main ridge from uh, J7, Chair 7, if you will, over to Chair 3, J3, take J3 back over to the other side of this sort of intermediate hill in the middle, and then that'll drop us down next to Main Lodge. We're heading down to the Antler Bar at Main Lodge at June Mountain to meet up with Martel for lunch and show you one of the most beautiful views you will ever see from anywhere, let alone a bar, including the ski industry. This is the world famous Antler Bar right here at June Mountain, California in June Lake, California. And probably one of the prettiest views you'll get anywhere, especially at a bar. I'm in the Antler Bar with my good friend Brianna. And the only thing that's more beautiful than the view here is her smile, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How long have you been here, Brianna? This is my ninth season. All right. We'll look forward to seeing you again next year. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for a great season. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Martel, we pretty much shut it down. What do you think? I think you did a great job. Yeah. I even uh, finished, board. finished my board. <laughs> what a day. Heading back to Burt now. Great day. June Mountain. Another one of my very, very happy places. Carol Meyer here. We are in Mexico City for the total eclipse of the sun, which is occurring on Monday, April 8th, 2024. We'll be driving out of the city and flying also to Torreon, where we will be driving out of the city to a field that is part of an agricultural university of Mexico and that is where we, we will observe the eclipse. Well, this is our view. This is our view right now, and it's, there's absolutely nothing to see, unless it's true that the clouds disperse. We may not be seeing this eclipse today, the 2024 total eclipse of the sun. The, the weather is not cooperating. Well, here we are at the site of the 2024 total solar eclipse outside Torreon, Mexico at an agricultural university. So there's actually some bleachers here on this campus where people can sit. And uh, we're actually sitting in a grass field in the middle of a track. And you can see where people have just spread out all over the place. So I'm here talking to Mark from Scotland and he's going to tell you all about his camera equipment. Hello, basically what I have here is uh, well, it's a three camera setup but two on the mount here. This is all mounted on a RST-135 and uh, that'll do the tracking during the eclipse for me. Assuming we have one, Assuming which have one. I'm sure we will. 
Well, we're going to have an eclipse whether we see it or not. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's exactly. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. The gathering of the eagles. There's Al and Terry, Bruce, Jim, and Robert. Wave, everybody. Wait, oh, and there's, there's Diane and Susan. Oh. What do you well, have to say about your experience? Well, I have to say Earth? it is beautiful here. We're sitting on a, a soccer field and we're waiting for the clouds to clear so we can have a beautiful view uh, from Torreon, Mexico of the solar eclipse. Uncle Bruce, what do you have to say about your experience so far? I've had a great time visiting many beautiful areas of Mexico. I've had a miserable time on uh, bus drives or coaches and some very good food. And, and I'm looking forward to the solar eclipse. Aunt Terry? Aunt Terry. You notice my eclipse sunglasses? I mean, my earrings. eclipse earrings. Well, you need to put on your eclipse glasses. Here are my eclipse glasses for later. Here is Jim. My, my, my bell. Yeah. And you, I see you have it in the correct in the loops. In the he put it in the loops. Oh. I'm expecting the clouds to part. Yes. And the uh, sun to shine, and we'll all be so happy. Yes, we will. Do you agree with that, Susan? Oh, perfectly, perfectly. I'm ready to celebrate anything. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Even all apocalypse. I'm just happy to be here. Yes. Finally. Happy to be here. Yeah, it's gonna and be a good eclipse. Sporting your new hat. That yes, does not blow new, off in the wind. My portable patio umbrella. <laughs> portable. It Love it. We are almost at totality, and it has gotten much darker and colder. We are at totality. The sky has cleared. The diamond ring is going to emerge any second now. We can look at the eclipse with the naked eye. It is an amazing sight to be. This is how the sky looks surrounding us look at that it's getting light again and there's pink in the sky it's simply amazing okay everyone's still just hanging around enjoying the afterglow of the eclipse sunspot right on the edge of the moon okay um and we are actually able to buy a couple oh, yeah. of surveys. People are just enjoying talking, comparing experiences, enjoying it. I'm feeling so lucky because the clouds did part just in time. Sub totality, right? We saw the diamond yeah. ring. We yeah, saw the, and we saw the prominence shooting the prominence off of the, afterwards. Off of the... How about you, Terry? What did you think of that? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. So, are you happy you came to see the eclipse? Of course. Even if I hadn't seen the eclipse, I'd be happy. Of course you would. Everyone's, everyone's just make a fun thing out of it. Yeah, like Victor says, do fun shit. <laughs> How cool is that? I love it. Dog school in Mexico City. And you can tell he's a good he's a good teacher because these dogs are the most well behaved dogs I've seen anywhere. So this is one of the beautiful parks that are here in Mexico City. Okay, the team, the team that looks it's just like a French sidewalk cafe. We are all having cappuccinos, lattes, and pastries. Amazing pastries for our last morning in Mexico City. And it is absolutely a gorgeous morning. It's a beautiful day. And everyone here is so friendly and nice. If you have a chance and you want to come to Mexico City, you should definitely do so and visit the Roma Norte neighborhood and the Cantin Cafe for, for all kinds of coffees and pastries. Buenos dias. We have seen the eclipse. Despite the clouds in the morning, they cleared in time for us to observe totality. 
and we have had a wonderful trip in New Mexico and now we are getting ready to head back home to Via Tijuana International Airport. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the trip. I want to take a moment and thank my parents for being such good sports and playing along with this little experiment. I know a lot of you enjoy seeing them on my channel and we can't do this often, but on a special occasion like this, I say, why the heck not? And I know they had a great time in Mexico City. They've given me all the more reason to want to go down there between the food, the people, the culture, and so many things to see. It just seems like a beautiful experience that I hope I get a chance to enjoy in the very near future. Remember, when you're out there on the road, keep it between the lines and look out for Smokey because he's looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. This is The Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I also do appreciate your comments and look forward to those every week. So keep those coming as well. As for the backside of the show, we're going to let my parents' neighbor, 92-year-old... Al Masters play us out with my grandmother's favorite song, Claire de Lune. Enjoy, and I'll see you next week right here on The Vic Meyer Show.